Welcome to this video. In this video I just want to show you some things that I've been buying really cheap from eBay. So the first thing in my little packet is this. It's um it's a little electronic keypad flat thing. So that's kind of interesting. I'll probably do something with that with the Arduino. The next thing This is called a Node MCU. It's a microcontroller and it's based on the ESP8266, which I've been messing about with quite a lot recently. And this thing interests me actually. It interests, it, it interests me because it's a special microcontroller because it has uh, Wi Fi capabilities. So that's quite interesting. I'll, play, I'll have a play about with this at some point. I've got a looks like an SD card reader. Yeah, a little SD card reader. Micro SD card adapter. That's interesting. I don't know what that is on it though. Some sort of liquid. So it's got a little chip and a voltage regulator, 3.3 volt regulator. Hmm, that's interesting as well. So I could maybe connect that to an Arduino and uh, have some storage. That's very interesting. I've got a packet of these, I think they're called dip switches. Yeah. DIP. Tiny little switches. These would be interesting for um, setting things on and off on an Arduino. So maybe I could write in code uh, if pin 1 is high, then do this, otherwise, do that. Try and get this to focus. Yes, yeah, so that's very interesting as well. So you could actually control if statements, if you like, within code. Um, just by switching this on and off, if these are assigned to pins, that's interesting. So, but they have a load of these. They look like step up or step step down inverters. LM25960 DC to DC. Yeah, so the chip is LM2596S. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, I think it's probably stepped down. So that's very interesting as well. There's the input, a couple of capacitors, an inductor, potentiometer, diode. Hmm, that's interesting. So I can have a play with that as well. I've actually got a few of those. These things um, cost pennies. It's crazy. If you buy them from Britain, maybe you'll be paying one or two pounds each. Maybe more. Um, whereas if you import them from China, I think I paid maybe two fifty for this whole this whole set. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's crazy. I've also got this. Looks like a similar thing. Diode, potentiometer, two capacitors, an inductor, a little chip. The chip says B6286F. Mm, that's interesting. MT3608. 
I think that's step up. It's a step up converter, I think. Other things. Some little header, female header things for PCBs. Yeah, that's interesting. That'll help in some of my um, circuits. I have a few of these. These are looks like I think they're real time clocks. Tiny RTC I two C modules. So it's got a button sound. It looks like it's got a crystal diode. Oh, diode. A few resistors. Two chips. ATHYC five three two, and also at the S one three zero seven ZN. And there are the outputs, DS, SCL, SDA, VCC ground, SQ, NS, SCL, SDA, VCC ground and BAT. Hmm. That's interesting too. And I've got some that I've not actually opened, so I don't know what these are. It, look like, it looks like... Um, UART or something. It's got a USB socket. Some pins. Five volts. VCC three point three TXT RX and ground. Hmm. I'll have to have a play with that. And see what that is. I think it's a UART, but we'll see. Again, one that I've not opened. Ah, these are for making little jumper leads and stuff. Not particularly exciting. It's um, it's a transceiver. Wow, it's tiny. It's got a tiny crystal on it. A tiny antenna. And a tiny chip. The chip says. Two zero underscore C G zero A zero Y comma one. Hmm. There's no reference on the pins, so that's a bit weird. How am I going to know what's what? Another thing which arrived was this. It's a microcontroller. This is the STM thirty two F zero three zero board. It's also quite interesting. I don't know anything about this. Hopefully I'll be able to do something interesting with that stuff and show you another time. Thanks for watching. Bye.